All right. Shalom. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or All right. Double honors to the apostles, elders, great millstone, teaching rule well. All right. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. I can spread this truth throughout the four ends of this world, man. All right. I say shalom to the elect of Israel, the house of David, the men, women, and children listening and learning. All right, striving for salvation day in and day out. <clears throat> okay, this is the brother Karathaza back with another lesson today. I don't got a title yet. All right. But we're just going to go through the spirit. Then, uh, you know, meditating on these scriptures. You know, what I'm about to bring out for a little bit, man. And, you know, just gearing up, you know, to, to endure. All right. I see the judgment that's, that's going out by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. First and foremost, for for the people, for our people, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, whose father's line, and including the speckled bird, whose father's line goes back to uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay, all right, those that that look like a, a heathen nation, but their father's line goes back, and the Lord's putting judgment out on you. All right, <clears throat> you got you got those floods out in out in Mississippi, all right, we got the floods out in, uh, in, um, what was that, Pakistan, all right, so some places getting water, you know, too much water, so much water that they can't even use their water, and then other places in an extreme drought, all right, but so, so, you know, we have to pray each and every day that the Lord, you know, keeps us under that his mercy, you know, and, and bestows, you know, election, you know, upon us, you know, and keep keep this faith, you know, to endure those hard times. And, and you know, they, they <clears throat> you keep the spirit on us to to continue in, on, in this truth. So I'm going to start out in here. It's going to be 1 Timothy 6. And verse 12. Alright, so 1 Timothy 6 and 12. It says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. life. Right? So we have to fight this good fight. This is a fight we're in, you know. We're fighting for our spot in salvation you know it's a physical fight mental fight you know what it says we wrestle not with it uh you know it's saying ephesians we wrestle not with with um you know i'm gonna just i'm gonna grab it later you know but we wrestle not with flesh and blood but principalities in high places right those principalities being um and demons, you know, and, and a demon is just a, a form of an angel on the left hand side, but you know, we have to endure that temptation, we have to endure, you know, the, the wiles of the devil, all right, we have to endure our our own um lust, you know, our own um wicked thoughts, you know, we have to bring our body. Hey, this, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let the scriptures speak for themselves because what I got, you know, that's gonna bring it all out. We get how fast me I wrote in this book, it tells all, okay. But we have to hold on to the what does it say, cleave uh, in, in the book of Sirach, cleave uh, unto me, all right. And that's another one we can pull, you know. But you cleave, you gotta hold on to this word. Hey, another scripture popped in my head real quick. You know, Revelation 3 and 11. You know? Uh, hold that fast, which thou hast. All right? So we got to hold on to this truth, man. Okay, but, but let's get back to the scriptures. So, uh, I'm going to start back up at the top. Damn. Thought I had this all. Yeah, we still on. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. Thought I had my uh, 
don't have one. One second. All right. <clears throat> Won't be having no more interruptions. You know, Lord willing. This is uh, a <clears throat> First Timothy six and twelve. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. And that, that's our our profession. This is our our real job. You know, that that the Lord has called us to, and it's a blessing. You know, to even hear this truth. You gotta think that the Lord chose you out of everybody. You know, so now you you, you got a, a responsibility to uphold. Okay. <clears throat> And that responsibility is preaching this word, you know, day in and day out, you know, wholeheartedly giving the truth, you know, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, right? Being convicted in your spirit to persuade other men, you know, the elect of Israel, you know, to do, to do, they, 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 to pick up their responsibilities, persuading them to what? The fear in terror of, of this judgment, man. We're seeing that judgment even more so than ever. Right? I think the Spirit's going to flow beautiful, you know, Lord willing, this lesson's edify. This, uh, and the Lord just, you know, the Spirit guided me, you know, to, to uh, bring it out this way. You know, I had it originally a different way, but and right, we're going to see how this goes. This is uh, the book of Ecclesiastes 9. And um, in verse 10 it says, Whatsoever thy findest to do, do it with thy might. All right? For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. So, so we only got one shot at, at salvation, man. This is our last chance for salvation through the signs and the times, the prophecies that were that were spoken of aforetime, you know, by Yahweh Shai and, and the other prophets. They all come into pass right now. Everything's, you know, building up. Everything is. Okay. So this is this is your last chance. This is the, the final opportunity, man. We could see it, we could feel it through the spirit. Alright, so we gotta go hard in this thing, man. There's no time to be uh, you know, lolly gagging, and I'm talking to myself first and foremost. You now, this is the physical battle, the, the battle of the action that we need to be doing right now. You know, exposing this devil for all, all his wickedness that and atrocities and affliction he, he him and the, the other heathen nations that followed, you know, afflicted our, our people with. All right, this is our last chance for that. Okay. So we got to do it with might, all right? There's no time to be uh, pussyfooting around. I'm, just, I'm, on, I'm on a timer right now, you know, for about 15 minutes. And so I'm going to try to get everything, you know, uh, as quickly and as edifying as possible. They gotta wait, they gotta wait. Yeah, how about Shimon I'll shy gonna make them wait. This is a uh, Luke 9 in verse 62. <clears throat> it says, And Yahweh Shai said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and and looking back is fit for the kingdom of the most high. And that that's right, man. No man, you know, that that comes in this truth. And goes back into the world, man. How about Shimei Shai? Don't want you. You're not ready for it. You, you weren't made, you know, of this fold because you don't get it. <laughs> Obviously, you you just don't get it if you're looking back. We know here there there ain't nothing for us here, man. Our treasure, our glory, you know, that's all in heaven. You know, Lord willing, we be those men. All right. We'll go back to the book of Timothy. But we're going to go to 2 Timothy 2 and um, 
three it says you know so so you know when you look back in the plow you're gonna mess up the whole you know when you plow on the field you're gonna mess it all up all right if if you look back your whole plow gone gone it's gonna mess up the whole thing all right that's the same thing with the truth you can't be looking back to the old ways that, that you once were all right and that's both physical and spiritual because there's there's temptation all right we have to stay on that straight and narrow there's temptation you know all around us we're covered you know the 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 gate the entrance into heaven is a is a narrow gate a straight gate and on both sides you got you got what you got fire and water you're going to either drown or burn the fuck up all right and we have to do our best to to follow the light you know to follow this truth the wisdom and knowledge and the example that Yahweh Bashim Yashai and, and the apostles and elders are leading for us okay that's how we make it out alright that's how we make it on, on those ships man those chariots alright so <clears throat> this is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 3 Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right? Because we're gonna come along, you know, we we going in this in this fight, we're gonna have our ups, our downs, we're gonna get knocked down. Alright, but we gotta get back up. Say a righteous man falleth seven times. But uh, what? Get back up, but but the wicked shall fall into mischief. So so if you wasn't really meant for this. You know, you're going you gonna to stay down and you're going to get more demons, you know, on you. You're going to be completely bugged out. As we've seen examples this year of that. Brothers who, you know, thought they could have been sincere and whatnot. Completely bugged out now, okay? But this is the point right here in verse 4. No man that worth entangleth himself with affairs of this life, right? Because this this life don't mean shit no more. All right, we see past Esau Edom's bullshit. We see past this white man's philosophy's bullshit, man. And we're ready to get out of here. We pray every day that the that the Lord, you know, destroy Babylon today. All right. It says, <clears throat> entangle with him with the affairs of this life, that he may please him. Who have chosen him to be a soldier so so that's pleasing to the most high and when when we you know go and do these stay in, in, in the work do these lessons all right instead uh, of uh you know going out to the club or instead of uh you know being more obsessed with with this vanity all right because that's what, what it all is So this is going to be 1 Corinthians chapter 9. Right? Hey, hey, this is easier said than done. Now this is the part of the battle. This is this, this, this These are the conditions of the battle. We have to fight. We have multiple things to fight out here. Man. But we know what we're fighting for. Fighting for our nation. You know, to please our power. This is how we get our true, you know, for the restoration of a kingdom, man. And because the the Lord cho chose you, okay? To be a part of the elect means that you're chosen, all right? You are a, a, a elect, you are a soul predestinated for salvation from the beginning of this world, before the, the foundation of this world were made. Okay, we're uh, doing it to, to restore order in, in this world, man. And it's it is the only way we could truly pay back, and, and it's not even, you know, we're not even able to pay back what, what the Lord is going to do for us. But this is the only way we can serve our Lord, who has who's going to give us an abundance of all things. 
This is uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 24. All right. <clears throat> know ye not that they which run a race, which run in a race, run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Okay. And we got to run, but condition ourselves to endure the whole battle. Can't, uh, you know, tire ourselves out on the first lap. All right. We got to be able to sustain this. Uh, we got to be able to abstain, you know, uh, you know, stay, stay in it for the, for the long run. It says, <clears throat> and every man that striveth for the mastery is tempered in all things, knowing, you know, striving to be, you know, perfect. You know, you got to have your hand in, in a little bit of everything. You got to know the history. You got to know, you know, um, <clears throat> how to actually put these scriptures in, in your daily lives and use them. You got to uh, work on your health. You got to, um, you know, work on your mind, your body, and your spirit, man. These are all things that, that go into this truth. Cause this is what this is the book of life, man. You have to know how to act accordingly in certain situations. You know, for what it says that things written the four time were written for our learning. But we gonna know how to how to act right. We ain't gonna be bugged out. You know, Isaiah thirty three and six, man. We ain't gonna be bugged out in the times of trial because we have this knowledge that the Lord, you know, blessed us with. All right. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, right? <clears throat> you know, these are their, uh, you know, false prophets, fringelites. They do it to get glory on this side, man. But we do it for the incorruptible. That's what it says. Say, but we, an incorruptible, we want, you know, we lay our, our treasures for for that eternal glory. We want our glory to come from the Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai. Verse 26 I therefore, so I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, certainly, you know, we, 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 we we know what, what's going to come. All right? And this is the only thing we, we do. So so run. You got to run with it. So, so fight. I So fight I, not as one that beareth, beateth the air. All right? <laughs> We're not fighting the air, man. We ain't just doing it just to do it. That's what it's saying. But I keep my body under... But I keep under my body... And bring it into subjection. That's the hardest thing about it. Not pleasing the lust of the flesh. All right. <clears throat> Learning how to rule your your spirit. Because man, this vexation. You want to beat somebody. The the you want to slap the hell out of some people, man. You want to slap the hell hell out of Jake. Or you want to, uh, you know, your family, your close family members. You want them to get it so bad. And you don't understand why you understand why they don't get it because they weren't they they just don't get it, all right? Yah Bashim Shai has their eyes blinded and their ears blinded, right? And it says, "Lest that any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway, all right? So unless I, I can't get this right, then I'm a castaway because that's what's gonna happen." Keep on fall, coming in, uh, you know, and and um, you know, fall into temptation, but not not learning nothing, okay, and not not correcting yourselves. All right, what did it say in Sirach? It said, "My son, prepare when thou comest to serve the Lord. Prepare thou so thyself for temptation." All right, it's gonna be, it's gonna come, and but we have the 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 comfort that Yahweh Bashim Al is gonna you know save us from the hour of temptation. You know, save the elect, not and, and put the spirit on them to endure the hard times and not take that that see it. Okay, I want to get this last script and we. I gotta I gotta go. So this is a uh, Romans seven and twenty three says, but I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in the members of this flesh. That's the 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 body is the members. All right. Our bodies are subject to sin, okay? That's why we need those incorruptible bodies to to truly live in perfection, all right? 
but we're all doing this through the purification process, all right? But this is Paul's talking about how how we war with our minds, man. All right. So this just been on my spirit to uh, to to bring this out today. You know, Lord willing, it's been edifying. You know, you know, keep striving for those masteries. You know, and and um, you know, striving for for salvation. You know, keep uh keep those prayers out. You know, for the for the for those brothers out there. You know, in Mississippi. All right, that the Lord keep them under uh, protection and you know. Uh, and um, you know, save the elect out of out of those hellish conditions. All right, all right. The water for tuning in, and we on to the next one. I want to say shallow one.